Tonight, our Tracy A. McPeer is digging into one district's response, a district in a county once considered a hotspot. Let's be honest, in a high school with 1,200 kids during a school, during a class transition, it's going to be impossible to socially distance. Communications director Stan Lewis says that's why all Hall County students and teachers will be wearing masks when they return to school August 24th. It's about the safety of our students, the safety of our staff members. We're looking closely at the science and data. Hall County was considered a hot spot for COVID earlier this spring due to outbreaks at poultry plants. Since the pandemic started, Hall County has had 5,947 cases and 92 people have died from COVID-19. Because of that, Lewis says they had to mandate masks for the start of the school year, with 75% of all students returning in person. The Hall County is, uh, has got its challenges. We, we've been hit by the virus pretty hard. So we feel like the masks are appropriate for where we are at this time. And if a student isn't wearing one? We're gonna be tactful, we're gonna say, hey, you know, we're, we're here to uh, we're here to learn, but we've got some parameters. If they don't have a mask, we're going to do our very best to offer them. A mask. Lewis recognizes the challenges of a new school year with new procedures, but says these changes need to happen to keep all of Hall County safe. We're not going to sacrifice student safety for convenience. Lewis says they will also be wearing masks on school buses and will have their temperature taken when they get on the bus. They also extended their teacher planning from one week to three to make sure they have all the protocols in place. We have a back to school guide on 11alive.com breaking down plans for each Metro Atlanta district, plus the latest recommendations from state officials. We can send it straight to your phone. Just text the word school to the number on your screen. That's 404-885-7600.